Street Bank, the starting point of the new Borders Road. At least it is from the point of view of Borders. To others, it may seem like the place where the new railway line will end. But for many Borders, this is where their journey on the new railway will begin. As trains will be departing from here in the late summer of 2015. So why was Street Bank chosen as a terminus? There does seem to be some confusion over the choice of this location by Melrose and the Galaxians, both of which are just a few miles away. There were a number of reasons for this choice. Here are just some. Street Bank has good road connections with the rest of the borders. For people who want to park their car and ride on the trains, there is plenty of land available for building the necessary car park as well as the station facilities and avoid the necessity of driving into Gala to get the train. For people who want to park their car and ride on the trains, there is plenty of land available for building the necessary car park as well as the station facilities and it avoids the necessity of driving into Gala to get the train. What about public transport users? Well, as, as Gala is already the hub for many bus services in the borders, the new transport interchange there will serve bus users wanting to use the train to Midlothian, Edinburgh and beyond. The same is true for people travelling in the opposite direction. The railway will significantly improve the transport journey times to and from Edinburgh, making the non-car based journeys more attractive. So Gala and Tweed Bank are essentially designed to serve a somewhat different market, as well as their own local residents. So why not Meldos? Whilst it was perfectly possible to have extended the line to Meldos, this option would have been more expensive without gaining a significant benefit. On the cost front, there's an important electricity cable that would need to have been moved as well as the new road bridges and the cost of other civil engineering work, together with the track itself. The slightly longer journey time might have made it difficult to schedule a clock face timetable with trains being unable to make the journey and turn around in less than 60 minutes. Finding space for the car park for park and ride users would also have been difficult. The advantage of a train serving Meldos was therefore probably outweighed by these costs. So what will the new station be like? Construction of the roundabout to access it is well underway. The land has been cleared and the groundwork for the track has been prepared. The site is also being used to store spoil for other nearby works, for later use as fill in the new embankments towards Galashields. The station itself will consist of a peninsula flat platform with tracks either side and the usual somewhat sparse modern station facilities as well as a, a large car park which again is to accommodate park and ride users. I hope you've enjoyed this video and found it informative. Here's a few pictures taken between Tweed Bank and Galashiels which show some of the progress that's being made on the Borders Railway. <laughs>